Hey man guys, welcome back to Clash Royale and uh, once again at my level 7 account. Uh, hopefully today we will play better than the previous episode and uh, just opening some free chests, getting royal giants. What's in the shop? Okay, we have the prince available, the giant and the zap. Okay, once again with the hog rider deck. I can't call it hog cycle because it isn't that uh, cheap but uh, a hog rider deck which I have made on my own so I'll start with the hog rider push and it did not go out really well but uh, I'll have to tornado those goblins that did not save a lot of damage but it did pretty well because those goblins could have done a lot better damage if if they were unattended so slowly starting up the musketeer and the goblin barrel so he okay he has the arrows as well his dark prince is level one and i will easily defend it and both his princes are fortunately level one so I'll defend them easily. The, the main problem over here will be his goblin barrel. Because uh, the goblin barrel does a lot of damage. He still did not show any of his building. So I will start once again. And once again a very bad coincidence. That he had his skeleton army once again down. I was expecting that and I was expecting that too. That's the thing which will be trouble, trouble for us over here. Because he can defend us really well. And uh, I'll probably have to keep an arrow or I'll have to keep the arrow uh, in this deck. Because I don't have any space. I still do not have any spell. So, I'll keep that arrow, he'll be a good choice. Okay, he'll zap those skeleton arm, those skeletons. And uh, I'll assist that Valkyrie with a hog rider. I have nothing to defend against that. And he does take down my tower. So, 648 hit points onto his tower and I'll try to get that the main problem uh, over here is the level of my troops as I mentioned before in the previous video the level of my troops isn't really good and uh, I'll, ha I'll probably keep an arrow in the next match because uh, I'm facing a lot of goblin barrels recently in my previous video also I faced a lot of goblin barrels and when I was playing offline I did face a lot of goblin barrel and most people use the mirror with the goblin barrel so I'll use the arrows instead of uh, the tornado and uh, I'll have to make some I don't think so I'll have to make some changes 3.3 .3 is okay with me it's okay Usually in my hog cycle deck I use the ice spirit as well with the fire spirits because it's really good combo uh, with the hog rider it performs really, really well but uh, I did not reach frozen peak in this arena so I'll have to stick with I'll have to stick with an alternative which I think so will have to be the goblin barrel So he did decent damage on both my towers. I have no idea why he tornado my Valkyrie. There was no point of it, but uh, okay, we did, we did get really good damage onto his tower, and I have no idea how to defend this. I'll have to use my arrows. Actually, I was trying to save up my arrows for his goblin, and I think so. I will. The musketeer will. 
Check down the dominion uh, holes, and I'll have to use that skeleton army for uh, the princess. Actually, the the level of my arrows is really less, which is actually level five, and it cannot kill level nine goblins. So, the charging prince stopped using the Valkyrie. And those fire spirits did a lot of work. And once again he wasted his tornado. I had no idea what to do. This was the only choice. What I thought of. It wasn't the most sensible choice but. Okay I'll be in a little bit trouble over here. Because I have. Okay, that, that's a really good time for me for double elixir because I used all my elixir in the push and I did not have elixir to defend. But uh, fortunately, the double elixir showed up. So this match will probably be ours. I'll have the cannon down for the safe side and uh, hog rider, goblin barrel. Now my the main thing is that I'll try to pressurize him and I do think so that he gave up so we'll have this 3 crown after one loss Ok so let's open the crown chest hopefully we'll get something good Okay, six fireballs. Uh, let's try something new. Uh, well, I'll I'll try to use the golem this time. So I'll have to make a golem deck, and with the golem, I'll have the baby dragon. Uh, it is an expensive deck but uh, I'm confused if I should use the goblin barrel or not uh, but uh, okay let's try this deck hopefully it turns out well but uh, I don't think so it will because I do have a level 1 golem and uh, facing broken king from no clan which is actually a clan because she does have that logo ok I am wasting a lot of elixir and uh, ok so he has that goblin barrel uh, the goblin hut and he is pumping elixir and one more so probably, probably this guy is a spawner what I think this guy is a spawner I'll have to use my skeleton army to defend his musket here and uh, my baby dragon died so fast I had no idea that it will probably because it was a level 1 baby dragon so It's better for me now to defend and uh, rather than using my elixir in a golem push I'll have to do that in double elixir I'll wait for that wizard to target my cannon and then I'll have my minions Okay this will be a lot of problem There's a lot of those are a lot of goblins oh come on I'll leave that golem unattended and I'll use my musket here to prevent him from doing a lot of damage onto my crown tower I'll have to use my rage at this moment and uh, it did not turn out really well actually it was really bad actually <laughs> okay he has his prince down and I have nothing 
I'll have to put down. And he has another prince. So I don't think so. I can make a comeback. I'll let him take my crown tower and I'll uh, make some changes onto this uh, deck. I'll try to make a good golem deck. I have no idea actually uh, what works well with the golem because I'm not a big fan of golem. Uh, even on my main account, uh, I do not use golem. But uh, or maybe I'll try a balloon. I'll try a balloon deck. Okay, I'll try balloon deck. I'll have the balloon substitute the golem and I'm facing a level 6. No idea what a level 6 is doing in arena 7. I don't have anything. How should I start? I have no idea. That was the, the most stupid start for me because I do not have anything else. I'll have my baby dragon down and uh, followed by my musketeer. And let's see what these two can do in rage. Okay, so it was probably a waste of a rage, but it's okay. I'm waiting for his move actually. I'll wait for the prince to come down and that was really great actually. He did predict well, he did predict a skeleton army but uh, that's one of the reasons why I deploy my skeleton army a little late. That's because if he predicts my skeleton army then I may have a chance to get out of it or get rid of those arrows. I'll start my balloon push over here and I'll I'll ignore that musketeer because I will go for his for my left side and probably his right side so I'll start a push as double elixir is approaching I'll start a, a push over here Cannon. Uh, I'll have a sprints charge, and this time it did not work well. But I'll go with the push right away. Okay, so 460 hit points onto his tower, 790 hit points onto my tower. I am in the lead, but uh, I cannot say anything. Anything can happen at this moment. Once again, good deployment of that skeleton army. And this will probably have the match for me. Well played, good game, good luck. So, I, uh, I did go out to be victorious using that balloon deck. But uh, the main now, now my main aim in this account is to upgrade my card so that I can uh, face level 7, level 8 people sitting in Royal Arena. Exactly on 2000 trophies. So... That's all for today. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed and uh, do uh, not do not forget to hit that like button and subscribe. So hopefully see you guys in the next episode and uh, take care and bye for now.